Hey, what's shaking, soldiers? Welcome to Savvy Soldier. See this right here? See them two holes? That's what happens when you get your passport renewed here in Mexico. One or probably anywhere, but I'm I'm talking about how to get it done here in Mexico. If you have not already done so, please subscribe. Um, go ahead and hit the notification bell. It doesn't cost you anything. That way, whenever I upload a new video, you'll be like one of the first to know. Today, I am going to talk to you about the fact that if you need to renew your passport and you are south of the border, all's not lost. You can do that. You don't have to return to the U.S. to renew your passport. At least I didn't have to. Now, the story begins back in October of last year when I had six months left on my passport. And I decided I am not going to risk the chance of it taking three or six months to get it processed so that I could go to Mexico because I needed to be in Mexico before the end of the year so that I could get my residency taken care of, which I did with my passport only having six months left on it. And so um, after getting my residency, it kind of slipped my mind for a minute that I needed to get my passport renewed. So in January, I decide, okay, let me go to the consulate and, and you know, let them know that, you know, it's, it's about to expire. Maybe they'll have mercy on me. Uh, no, that is that was not the case. When I got there unscheduled, they gave me this little card. They said, ma'am, go home, scan that card and schedule an appointment. So I said, oh, okay. So um, kind of dragged my feet for a little bit and probably around February, I finally got online, scanned this the card, got online, filled out my application and uh, scheduled an appointment. Well, the appointments were scheduled all the way out to April 1st. So that's this past Monday was my appointment. And I'm telling you, they are, they are serious about you having an appointment. When I got there, I was checked. They said, okay, um, you're on the list, so you're scheduled to be here. You're in the right place. I said, good. He says, but you can't have your phone and you can't have your, uh, your smartwatch. And I had read that, but you know, I'm thinking, nah, no, they're serious. So I had hired a cab and my best friend to go with me just in case I could take my phone in. Called her. She was only about a block away at this wonderful cafe called The Legend. She came, she got my phone, she got my watch. And I said, you know, when I'm done, you know, I, I, I know where to find you. So I go in um, through the second door. Well, it's the first door, actually. When I get inside, it's similar to a mini little um, airport. You have to go through a detector. You got to have your bags go through a scanner. Well, my bag had lotion in it. I don't remember seeing anything about lotion, but anyway, he said, ma'am, you can't take this in with you. So I had to leave the building, go across the street, throw the little bottle of lotion away. And I was kind of um, sad about that because it, it had been a gift from my friend Sonia and it had, it's called Savvy Lotion. And it was just a little, you know, anyway, had to get rid of the lotion in order to get through this process. So um, come back in, get to the second door. There's another gentleman there with a wrap. A, a, a roster he said nobody and so I give him my name I said okay I'm right there so that's the second checkpoint where they double check to make sure you have an appointment so I'm inside and going up a ramp a winding line going up a ramp there's a lady there um, she says okay ma'am you're gonna need your passport two pictures two photos and um, you're gonna also need to make sure your application is filled out correctly which, which it was. I had not signed it because that was one of the instructions online. Fill out the application, but do not sign it until you get in front of a representative at the consulate. So that was the third checkpoint to make sure that I have an appointment. I'm telling you, these appointments are serious business. I finally get up to the final door and on the other side, there's this big burly man and he says, nombre. And so I am giving my name the fourth time to verify that I am scheduled to be there. So now I got there at 9.30. My appointment wasn't until 10 o'clock. By the time I get through this process, it will be 12 o'clock. I get to the front window, the lady speaks English. I was real happy about that, although I was gonna try to struggle through with my Spanish if need be. 
um, but she was wonderful. She said, okay, the cost is going to be um, $179. And so I you know, paid that amount using a credit card. You can use a credit card, you can use um, USD cash, or you can use pesos to get this process paid for. When I was done there, she says, do not forget to go to the DHSL or the, D the DHL window to pay the cashier for the shipping. And I said, oh, so I could not come back to pick it up. They, they couldn't do what they call the rush job. However, on here, it does say express. And when I was looking online today to see how, you know, to see how long it's taking to have uh, passports processed in the U.S., um, the numbers I'm giving it routine, six to eight weeks, expedited, two to three weeks, and then urgent, which means you have an appointment um, that's, and you have to have international travel within 14 days, then um, they have the urgent uh, passport that you can get done. So about six to eight weeks. Let's just say six to eight weeks. So um, I asked her, well, how long is it going to take? And she said, it's going to be, this is not. It's going to be about four weeks. And I said, okay, good, cool. I, I, I didn't have to really be any place until June 16th because that's my birthday. We're coming in, I'm coming back to the U.S. to celebrate my birthday with a friend. So four weeks, I'm good. I go to the, um, the next window, which is the, eight, the uh, DHL window so that I can pay to have it delivered. And there's two charges on there. One is for the adult passport, which is $50. And then there's a PPT security uh, surcharge, which is $80. So that had to be paid before I left the building in order to ensure that I would have my passport within the next four weeks. So, see them two little holes? I'm grounded, y'all. I cannot go anywhere until I get my passport. Now, they said four weeks. I really believe it's probably going to be sooner than that. But... In any event, I got the process taken care of. I'm all good. Um, I'm legal here still uh, because I do have my residency card and they they have the the um, information to know that I have processed my um, my uh, my passport and it expires on the 11th of this month. Woo. So if you all have not done so, you got less than six months on your passport. Get your papers in order. Again, if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, the next time I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to know. And until next time, be well, live free, and prosper.